Sometimes you're just sitting at home and all of a sudden, you feel bored. Do you know this feeling? But with our fun ideas, you will stop being bored once and for all. We can help distract you and cheer you up. And for starters, take several pom-poms of different sizes and some old beads. Glue small pom-poms to the big ones on one side and the beads on the other side. Paste two identical strings of beads to each pom-pom. Add another bigger pom-pom on top. Glue eyes and a beak to another pom-pom. Combine pom-poms and beads in a figure like this. The head on top, then the bead neck, the torso in the middle, and then the legs. Glue a feather to the body and another one to the head. Now take wooden sticks and glue them crosswise. Tie a thin line to the ends and connect it to the bird's head and legs. A cute puppet bird is ready to fight your boredom and bad mood. Look how funny it is when it moves! Bet you can't stop smiling! Next, take a brush and paint. And the canvas will be your stomach. Draw a fence over and under your belly button with black paint. Draw a red circle around it. Draw and paint lips. Color the inside with black paint. Add a pink tongue. And some white teeth. When the paint is dry, you can start the game. Make the lips touch and now eat. And yes, finally the folds on your belly will bring you joy. It will be a lot of fun. Ordinary selfies are boring and don't make you happy. My friend has an idea. Let your hair down and lean forward. At this time, your friend comes to stand back to back with you. And now she must pretend to be riding a horse and you move your head with the hair following the same rhythm. Put on a plaid shirt so that the photos and videos come out even more believable. Giddy up! All done! Now show your friends the video and make them laugh. You can have a little fun with a foundation pencil in front of a mirror. Take it and carefully color your lips so that they do not stand out. And now take a black eyeliner and carefully draw eyes and a head above the lips with a thin brush. Draw a body with legs between your lips and your chin. Color the frog green. It looks very funny. You can cover your face with hair. Sit in front of the mirror and start to hunt for bugs. Just don't get carried away and get too into the roll. And now take a marker and some lip gloss. Draw legs on the sides of your index and middle finger. Draw hips, a waist, arms, a neck, and a head on top of them. What a pretty woman! Color her dress with liquid lipstick. Draw shoes. Choose an appropriate background and go for a walk. What a walk! She is so lucky to have such slender legs. Next, we will tell you how you can use old magazines. Disassemble them into sheets. Take a long straw and begin to wind a sheet on it from one corner. To keep the straw together, coat the middle with a thin layer of Elmer's glue like this. Continue rolling. At the end, get the straw out of the design. Make a whole handful of tubes. Print out a silhouette of a whale. Cut it out. Apply the tubes to the cutout pattern and glue them. Do not leave empty spaces between them. The spaces won't look good. Cover the entire piece. Cut the extra ends of the tubes along the outline. Use sharp scissors so you don't spoil your work. Glue the fish to a wooden plank. Done! The result is a stylish mural. You can make any pattern in this technique. We choose a bear. And what will you make? This pot is too boring for such bright personalities as us. Use a brush and paints to make it a yellowish-green color. When the paint dries, 
take a thick brush with yellow paint and draw a couple circles on the pot. These will be eyes. And now, with black paint and a thin brush, paint a nose in the form of an inverted heart and a mouth. Draw a wavy line and cross it out to create an imitation of sewn lips. Outline the eyes. And finish with spiral pupils. Add a few more scars and highlights to make the zombie look more natural. A monster pot for a monster flower is ready! Does your plant bite? Next, take a piece of plastic coated with lotion. Draw details on it with a hot glue gun. A round belly, a head, legs. Peel them off the plastic when the glue hardens and connect them with each other to make it look like the animal is lying on its back. With a medium-sized brush, give your figure gray-white skin, a white face, and belly. Emphasize black paws and draw a face. Look! The sloth is smiling! And it helps keep your jewelry in order! And now take a souvenir dollar. Bend and unbend two corners and a strip on the edge like this. Bend the bill lengthwise. Fold an arrow along the lines you got. Bend the tip several times to form lines of wrinkles. Unbend one layer from the edge like this. Open it and fold along the marked lines. Turn it over and fold a little bit from the edges. Then turn the edges inside. Make bends and shift parts like this on the other side. Unbend the corners. And then do this. Turn it over and fold the edges inward. And then unbend the four corners to the sides. Slightly bend the edge. Bend in half and straighten the edge. Smooth the figure. Done! You made a dog! At least, we think so. But it looks like one. Let's make a friend for this puppy. Bark, bark! And now we will show you what can be made from several dozen thin, multicolored paper strips. Fold a couple of strips like this. Insert one corner in another and tie the ends into such a square. Tighten the paper. Now, bend the three strips to the opposite corners, interlacing them with each other, and secure the weave with the fourth strip through the loop like this. Do the same until you reach the end of the strips. And after that, take new strips and glue them using a glue stick. Continue to weave a spring until you get tired or until the paper runs out. At the end, cut off the excess and admire the result. You didn't just fight boredom, but you also made a stress-relieving toy. By the way, if you want, you can add a few strips to the spring again and again. For the next idea, take a piece of cardboard, color the sheet in different colors with a wide brush. Cut out details from pieces of different colors. Now take a thin brush and apply multicolored patterns on the details. Connect them together. Glue the pieces together to get cute birds. Fasten the figures on a long wire. Look who landed on your flower pot! These birds are almost like something by Pablo Picasso! And the best part is that they will please you with their bright plumage all year round! And now take a piece of paper, cut out the piece. Assemble a small house from it by securing the joints with hot glue. Paint the house gold. Draw a door and a window with a thin brush. Glue a chimney to the roof and take a foam ball and a thin wire. Insert several pieces of wire into the ball. And now take some push pins and insert them into the foam rubber. Fasten the balloons to the house. 
It looks like the house from the movie Up! Place the structure on the map in the corner. Now you can mark the places you visited. After all, travel is life! Did you like our ideas to fight boredom? Which one seemed the most interesting? Subscribe to Troom Troom Select, give this video a like, click on the bell, and definitely share this video with your friends!